Good morning, Year 6, and welcome to today's math lesson, where we're going to be using formulae to find the missing sides of a triangle. Now then, if you know the length of two sides of a right-angled triangle, this formula will let you find the length of the remaining side, and it's called the Pythagoras Theorem. And it's a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now then, the longest side of a triangle will always be labelled as C. A and B wouldn't matter which way around. The longest side is always going to be C, and this is called the hypotenuse. Okay, So A squared plus B squared will equal C squared. Now the formula says that the area of the two smaller squares combined are exactly the same area as the longest side. So we can use this formula to work out this missing side here. So, let's double check it. This triangle here, I've got 3 centimetres, 4 centimetres, and it says that C is 5 centimetres. So if I add these two when squared together, I should get what this is squared. So there's my formula, okay, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Now then, if A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, let me put my numbers in. So I've got 3 squared plus 4 squared, and that should equal to 5 squared. Remember, squared means times by itself. So 3 times 3 is 9, plus 4 times 4, 4 times 4, that is going to be 16. And that should equal to 5 squared, but 5 times 5 is 25. So there we go, 25 is equal to 25, there we go. That means that this one here is indeed 5 centimetres. Let's have a look at solving it ourselves now. So remember, the most important part of the missing side of a triangle, the hypotenuse, missing C, okay? So I can find that by doing A squared plus B squared, because that will equal to C squared. Now then, what I'm going to need to do here is 5 squared plus 6 squared is going to equal to C squared. Right then. 5 squared, 5 times 5 is 25, plus 6 times 6, that is 36, is equal to c squared. Okay then. So, 25 plus 36. 25 plus 36 is going to be 61, is equal to c squared. I'm just going to flip that around just to make it a little bit easier to read. So, c squared is equal to 61. Now then, that is c squared is equal to 61. I've got to do one more thing. I have got to find the square root of 61. The square root of 61. So what times what is equal to 61? Because remember, c squared would be all of this area here, okay? And I just want just this one line. So I need to find the square root of 61. Now, for some of these numbers, it'll be quite easy. For other ones, and with a lot of your work today, you are going to want to use a calculator. So on your computer, you'll have a calculator as with your phone. And all you'll need to do, in this case, I am finding out the square root of 61. So 61. And then this button here will find me the square root. Oh, it's a big number. I'm going to take it to two decimal places. Okay, I'll take it to two decimal places. So it is 7. Right, apologies for that line there. It is 7.81 centimetres. 7. 0.81. So C is equal to 7.81 centimetres. And that is how I find out the missing side. So remember, when you've done your A squared plus B squared and you found out what C squared is, you will need to find the square root. And you can use a calculator for this if you want to. Okay, so that means that 7.81 times 7.81 will give me 61. Or close enough to a lot of decimal numbers there. Let's have a look at that again. So I've got A squared plus b squared will equal to c squared. Okay then, so a is 2, so that's 2 squared, plus b, that's 7 squared, is equal to c squared. Okay, then. 2 times 2, that is 4, plus 7 times 7, that is 49, is equal to c squared. 4 plus 49 is going to give me 53, is equal to c squared. Again, to make that easier, I'm just going to flip that around so it's c squared is equal to 53. 
just easier to read out that way. So c squared is equal to 53, and I just need to find out what c is alone. So if c squared is equal to 53, to find the value of c, I do the square root of 53. Now remember what I said, you can use a calculator for this today. Okay, so c is equal to the square root of 53. So c is going to equal to, bring up your calculator, and what I will do is 53, and then I press the square root button. And this is 7.2. Okay, so it's 7.28. And there we go. The square root of 53 is 7.28. That means that C is 7.28 centimeters. Okay, so I can find the missing value of a side of a triangle. Now, it's your turn to now have a go at this. Remember to go through your steps, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. When you find what c squared is, you will then need to find the square root, and you are allowed to use a calculator at this point. Okay. Uh, send your work to me as soon as it is finished, but again, definitely before 3pm, and there are extension activities on Studio Ladder, or you can go on to Sunbrook if you want. We'll be talking more about this Pythagoras theorem this morning in our daily Skype session. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much, year six, and good.